When was your first time? I feel like a Gucci ad lib. I think we're good. I want my hair. There's nothing wrong with your hair. What's the problem? I just wanted to make sure I'm okay. Okay, before you start. How long is it take? I don't know, like anywhere between 20 minutes, however long it takes to ask the question. It could be two hours. I was no. kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, kings and queens. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a special guest with me. First of all, before we start this video, I want everyone in the comments down below to guess her age. I want y'all to guess how young she is. Please, look to the side. Look to the other side. Look them deep into the camera. I want you all to guess how young my grandmother is but before that we're gonna go ahead and do our shout out so on the screen is gonna be a bunch of comments from all my lovely subscribers that always leave beautiful comments do you want to say anything to the subscribers that leave the beautiful comments hi I love you yes we love you <laughs> thank you so much once again to my loyal royal fam thank you and let's get into this grandma tag. What is your full name and what are the names of your parents? My full name is Hyacinth. You gotta speak up, you gotta speak up. My full name is Hyacinth Tracy and my, my mother is um, Ivy Bayless and my father, George Hill. Was your father around growing as you when you were growing well, up? He was a... You can say it! Deadbeat. He was a bloodbath. The deadbeat? Mm -hmm. Was he a cockahoe? Did your mother ever tell you why she chose your name to be Hyacinth? Like, do you know why your name is Hyacinth? Those were the names that was going around at that time. So you had everybody name else's name? Name of flowers. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm pretty sure everyone wants to know what is your ethnicity? Why do you say it like that? Grandma, you need to speak up. Tell them loud and proud. Jamaican or Jam American? Jamaica, Jamaica. You're a Jam American? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is your favorite thing about Jamaica, growing up in Jamaica? The sunshine and the food. And the people. What about the men? I get what the men. Oh, okay. But well, how many sisters do you have? Five. How many brothers do you have? Three. So it's a big family, y'all. What are the, some of the things that you and your siblings did as you were growing up for fun? Did y'all play with rocks and sticks? Everything. We, we play balls and we <laughs> <laughs> go fishing. So you know how to fish? Yeah, I do. You can take me fishing, Grandma? Yeah, one day. What school did you attend? Like what high school did you attend when you were growing up? Jamaica School of Business. That was a high school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna look that up. You said that on TV. So which part of Jamaica do you rep? Were you born in? Saint Elizabeth. Saint Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So how did you go to school in Kingston? I'm so glad. I live in Kingston. I grew up. I finished growing up in Kingston. Oh, but you were born no, in Saint Elizabeth. Do you act like I'm asking you about your body count? But you got you got What's your body count? Come on. <laughs> how old were you when you met my grandfather? My grandfather is not here, you guys. If I can find a picture, I'll post a picture. 23. Okay. So you were 23? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? So what was his name? Tell everybody. What was your man's name? Your baby daddy, the father of your kids? Sidney Tracy. Okay, what was your favorite thing about your late husband? He's very kind, very supportive, very responsible. If you could say anything to him, right now if he was still here what would you say he's my best friend Aww. <laughs> i wish i would have met him you guys i never mm -hmm. got to see him um he actually passed away when my dad was like how old was dad four days after his 13th birthday rest in peace granddad so how did he propose to you i don't want to say that grandma how did granddaddy propose to no, you i don't want to say that how did he propose to you no one's cutting that out. How did he propose to you? Okay, I can talk about my mom. My mom, let's let's break the ice. Dad, if you're watching this video, my mom's mom told me how you proposed to her and you proposed to her over the phone. 
which is tragic. But it's okay, we love you, Dad. How did how did Granddad propose to you? Not over the phone. But what are all of your children's names, starting from the oldest to youngest? Kurt, Carl, and Keisha. And by the way, Kirk is my dad, you guys. He's the first. What are some of your favorite memories of your kids? Kirk is very active and very smart. Reads everything that he catches hand on. Carl was the one he, he wants to build everything. You give him a radio tomorrow, he pull it apart. Keisha likes to read and she likes to write and she likes to teach. And now she's in teaching and she's in education. I want to say some things about my dad and my aunt and my uncle. So my dad, I think that he's probably one of the smartest people that I know. People always say that we're alike because we're very opinionated people mm -hmm. and we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. But I, th but I think that He's a very smart person. He's just very, very bright. My uncle Carl, he is a different kind of smart. It's mm -hmm. like he's smart, like he's street smart. And first of all, he's a very good protector. He's a ride or die. He'll always be there for you. People blowing up your phone too? I'm fine. <sighs> and my beautiful aunt, Auntie Keisha, I love you so much. She is the one that will just put, she's just like my grandmother. She got the doing things for other people before she helps herself from her mom. My grandmother, that's what she got that from. She's always caring about other people before herself, putting her foot forward before other people. All of them do that in their own way. But my aunt is just a different, like she's just on a whole nother level, just like my grandmother. I love each and every single one of you guys. I love all my aunts and uncles, if you're watching this. Uncle Allen, Auntie Sugi. Auntie Maxine, Aunt Lurley, everybody, I love you guys so much. What are your favorite things to do? I love to read, I love to cook. Oh yeah. I love to travel. Y'all need to get, man, I kept telling her she needs to open a restaurant. Jamaican food done by this lady right here. It's bomb. That's why I always gain weight every time I come down here, to be honest. I she, love people. I'm uh, a people person. Are you, are you really? Yes, I do. You really do love people? Mm-hmm. Not for too long. Not for no, too long. No, not not for too long. Person. That's a lie. You lie. You lie on camera. No. I can honestly say that I'm not that much of a people person. As much as you guys see me on camera, I'm nice and I'm cordial and I'm respectful to people. But like, if I I don't like to be surrounded by a bunch of people all the time. Like, please give me my space. And that's why that's why I think that you're not that much of a people person. Yes, yeah, she lying. lying. No, no, I love people. People who call themselves a people person enjoy people's company because at all I times. Because I care for everybody. Yeah, but that's, mm -hmm. you're caring. I care. You're not a people person. Yeah, and I love them from, from my heart. You're trying to sound like America's <laughs> Miss America USA over here. How does your faith or religion play a role in your life? It gives me peace mm -hmm. and content. A lot of people don't like to talk about religion, but I mean, yeah, we're Christians, mm -hmm. so we're just going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. This is the preliminary round, okay? This is the questions where you, I'm going to ask questions that are a little bit personal, okay? No, ask them personal. Yes, we're asking. Per when was your first time? Huh? <laughs> when you answer the question, you can ask me the same question. No. It's just between us and the world. 25. Are you lying to me? No. <laughs> what was his name? I'm not gonna say it. So do you want me to tell you my first time? No. So I'm gonna tell you. I don't wanna The first know. five times that I did it, when was your first kiss and how did it happen? Just tell me the age. You don't have three. I don't ask me. Grandma, why is everything in the 20s? You need to move back in the camera. Why are you hiding? <laughs> 23. Because I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Aunt Lurleen, her sister, Aunt Pearl, where you at in the comments. I need you to tell me when your sister's first kiss was, because she's talking about 23. That's a lot. Explain the night that my father was conceived. You will hear that. <laughs> you will hear that from me. You, I, I won't, I I won't won't tell you I don't take my back <laughs> <in> public. <laughs> I really don't want to know anyways. That's yeah. really disgusting, yeah. so yeah. I'm gonna. I was just kidding. So out of all of your grandkids, Who's your favorite? Can't say that, that's private. I'm, I'm the favorite, right? 
whatever you came to do. Do you think we went through all the questions? I think so. Are you done? Are you tired of asking no, answering I'm questions? Tired. I'm not done. Why are you lying? Why are you being so nice on camera? I'm for real. I'm for real. You're not being for real. You're being. Really. She really doesn't act this way. She'd be cursing and doing all this extra stuff, but it's okay. It's okay. No, my special word. I don't curse. Oh, shit. <laughs> Grandma, you need to stop cursing. That's what the song said. Take it drunk and on so much. Oh, if you're in this family and you are witnessing this bold faced lie, how many times do you say caca a day? I don't use those language. I know that. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this grandma tag. Do you want to say anything to the people before we close out? Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Queen Key. So much and happy for Mother's Day to everyone. Yes, happy Mother's Day because that's what I really wanted to do this for. I wanted to get my grandmother all dolled up and you know she doesn't really need it anyway because my grandma's a beauty queen regardless i just love her so much and i just wanted to share her with you guys don't forget to comment down below what you think this lady's age is okay thank you guys so much once again for watching the video i love you guys all so much i hope you guys have a wonderful mother's day take your moms out take your grandmothers out your aunt treat them to a wonderful meal spoil them because they deserve it they should be spoiled every day to be honest yes, right. um Every day is Mother's Day. Yes, every day is Mother's Day. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Do the peace out. Do the peace out with me. You go, peace out. Peace out. Bye. I need a London, got a Hennessy in my